Here we have a 2010 on a 60 registration Volvo B7R Plaxton Profile 70 seat coach. So we are at Hills Coaches in Wolverhampton this morning looking at this very <coughs> well presented 14 year old Plaxton. Uh, had a good pedigree this one, new to Woodstones of Kidderminster and then came here. So not done bad in its 14 years. Bodywork on the offside. Nothing really to worry me, if I'm being honest. Under the bonnet will be a Euro 5 Deutsch engine. That's uh, the lump they started putting into these B7Rs around this age, the Marigus Dutes, if that's how you pronounce it. Engine, as I said, Euro 5, driven through a ZF fully automatic gearbox. In fact, that engine was probably the strongest engine they put in B7s, in fairness. Uh, back down the near side again. Nothing to cause any issues. Loads of luggage, whilst it's low height, you've got uninterrupted space, as you can see. I would imagine, with a little bit of Tetris practice, you could get 70 reasonably sized sort of bags for kids on a five day residential or whatever. You know, as I said, you'd have to think about it, but I think you'd do it. Power operated in swing door, which is great when you're on your school run in the afternoon because you can chuck them off, let the handbrake off and off you go. There's no waiting for the door to recycle. Tubular steel mirrors again, tick for me because they're easily mended and not overly expensive to do. And then when we jump on board, 70 seats, this will have been factory built like this being a Woodstones vehicle there's one odd seat I'm guessing because you can't get this interior anymore so that's all going to come down to how bad your OCD is isn't it really three point seat belts fitted other than that the seats are in good order in fairness there's no like mega wear where you'd expect it to be that one's obviously been repaired so that one would need side out. Um, starting to sag a bit, some of the form, but that's just age related. As I said, it's 14 year old, original interior. The million dollar question is, would you trim it? Me personally, if it's only going to be used on schools, what I would do, I'd take that one and the odd one, I'd find as near as damn it as I could get, and I would stick them there, out the way, up the back, where there's less chance of them being noticed. Forced air ventilation, we're not air conditioned. But again, this was built as a people mover, it wasn't built as anything sexier than that. But in fairness, for its age, other than sort of that and the other seat and starting to get little bits of wear here, it's a tidy old coach, you know what I mean? It is what it is, it's a people mo mover, it's 14 year old, but I've seen far, far, far worse, far, far younger if I'm being honest. Um, Dash is in good order. Nothing's missing, everything's where it should be. Wood effect trim, which was all the rage 14 years ago. Well, as, as much of the rage as it was ever going to be. I don't know if it was ever all the rage. But, you know, simple, laid out dash setup for the driver. Everything's where it needs to be. Minimal controls, because you only need what you need, don't you? Um, just about to touch half a million kilometres so not kill with miles as I said it's it is what it is it's a people mover it's clean and tidy 
There isn't much MOT on it, so obviously if the price is right, we'll stick a brand new test on. There's nothing to hide. Uh, and it'll go out and it'll go to work when the schools go back. So, to recap, it's a 2010 on a 60 registration, Volvo B7R, Plaxton Profile, 70-seat coach.